Elizabeth's Doll by Stephanie Bodine, illustrated by Christy Hale. Elizabeth had a new baby brother named Obedi. Elizabeth watched Mama take care of him, and she wanted to care for her own baby. She didn't have a doll. So she went outside and picked up a stick. She tried to hug it, but it poked her and she dropped it on the ground. Then Elizabeth picked up a rock. It was just the right size to hold, and it didn't poke Elizabeth when she hugged it. She kissed the rock and named it Eva. When baby Obedi had a bath, he splashed and got mama wet. When Eva had a bath, she behaved very nicely and only splashed a little. Mama fed Obedi and he gave a loud burp. Elizabeth fed Eva, but she was too polite to burp. Mama changed the cloth wrapped around Obedi's bottom and it was very messy. Elizabeth was very relieved to find that Eva's bottom was still clean. When Mama did her chores, she tied Obedi onto her back with a bright cloth called a conga. When Elizabeth did her chores, she also tied Eva on her back with a conga. Mama had to help a little. Elizabeth went to visit her friend, Raheli. Raheli laughed when she saw that Elizabeth had a rock for a doll. But Raheli didn't have a doll either. So when Elizabeth left, Raheli found her own rock and named it Malusi. When Elizabeth got home, it was time for her to get water from the village well. She took Eva out of the conga and laid her on the ground near some other rocks so she wouldn't be lonely. Then Elizabeth wrapped the conga into a small bundle, put it on top of her head, and placed the water jug on top of the conga. This was how she always carried water and other heavy things. Elizabeth soon returned with the water and took it to her sister Pendo inside the cooking hut where all the family's meals were made. Then Elizabeth ran outside to get Eva. But Eva was gone! Elizabeth looked all around, but she couldn't find Eva. Mama found a new rock and gave it to Elizabeth. Elizabeth shook her head when she saw it. The rock was just a rock. Pendo also brought Elizabeth a rock, but it wasn't Eva either. Elizabeth was very sad and sat quietly until it was time to help Pendo in the cooking hut. The family had rice for dinner every night, and it was Elizabeth's job to put the pot of rice on the fire pit, which was made of three large stones. Elizabeth sadly filled the pot with water and set it on the stones to boil. But one of the stones wasn't a stone at all, it was Eva. Elizabeth called for Mama. And together, they moved the pot of water and rolled Eva away from the fire. Although Eva was a bit dirty, she hadn't been hurt. Pendo ran outside to get a new stone for the fire pit, which is just how poor Eva had become lost. Eva sat quietly while Elizabeth cleaned her off and hugged her. At bedtime, Mama sang a lullaby and rocked Obedi in her arms until he fell asleep. Elizabeth sang a lullaby too, 
but she fell asleep before Eva did. Mama covered Elizabeth and Eva with a blanket. She smiled and thought that one day Elizabeth would make a fine mother. Eva thought so too.